Whoa, this thing has sunk down. Ideally, this is kind of like the riding I'll do during the winter. Nice to have pedals. But pretty much in the winter, this is what I like to do. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Consider joining membership. Hello everyone. Welcome back. What's up guys? What is up? Today I'm gonna do a little levy off-roading just around close by around my area. It's uh, kind of like a test to see if uh, I see a car right there. I'm gonna go this way. It's gonna be a test to see uh, how the levees are. Gives me an idea of how the other levees are. They're kind of all the same, maintained the same way. It's just gonna be a really quick ride. It's uh, sunny, but really cool. And <laughs> I'm not wearing my mid layer because uh, I'm going to be going at a, slow down, okay, good. I'm, I'm gonna be going at a uh, slower pace but when you, I go off-road, I, I tend to pedal more. Good, all right, let's go. When I go off-road, I tend to pedal more, and uh, that's what I'm doing. So it's this levee system right over here. It's a red light. So it's in the, in the 60s, upper 60s. Really nice day, really cool, not very humid. So, just taking advantage of ideal weather. Ideal weather, anyway. All right, uh, here I go. Green light. Green light. And you know, my squid game is really popular. And my youngest daughter sings that red light, green light from squid game. She doesn't even know what it means. She's just singing it. All right, so I'm gonna just quickly get, get over here because the levee system's over, right over here. So I gotta duck down a little bit. So not going to the clubhouse today. I don't know if it rained. It was supposedly it was gonna rain. I don't have my my Magellan boots on. Oh, they cut down a tree here. So, let's uh, gear down a little bit. For some reason, they fenced off this whole area. Now I have to like, come down here to this edge. It's a steep edge. Let's see if... Uh, i got to take it easy here. Whoa, this thing has sunk down. Uh, I'm going to be really careful as possible. I can. I don't want to. Oh. Nothing but grass right there holding me up. Oh, oh, oh. Jeez. Oh, they fenced it off. I don't know why. Could have used some. Anyways, for whatever reason, they fenced it off. They got a crane right there. Do they have a crane? Somewhere over there? Yeah, it looks like a crane. Ooh. Alright, so see a lot of ant mounds. They did cr cut this area. See some turkey vultures. I was contemplating where to bring, bring the uh, my binoculars, but uh, but no, not today. It is windy, but I don't mind the wind because I'm going to generate a lot of body heat. When I do off-roading like this, I tend to generate more body heat just because I'm at a lower pedal assist and a lower gear and I'm, I'm pedaling. More pedaling than just sitting down and pushing the throttle, which I could do, but don't want to. Oh, I got to be careful of ruts. 
sometimes vehicles do come out here. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. Vehicles come out here and they leave their ruts. But it looks like the grass has been cut, which is nice. Ideally, this is kind of like the riding I'll do during the winter. Oh yeah. Sometimes I get a retention pond to look at. To the right, see right there. Some birds sometimes are out there. Oh jeez. Oh. Gets really bumpy. Ducks, uh, ducks are swimming away. <laughs> they didn't expect me, I guess. I don't see too many alligators. Maybe a snake, but I don't stop and look at snakes. I just keep on riding. Oh, really bumpy. Even with the suspen suspension seat post and uh, front suspension, I have my I have my front suspension locked all the time. It is it is uh, open all the way. It is the softest as it can get. I leave it on all the time just because, uh, you know, as you go to these higher speeds, or I wouldn't say higher speeds, but if, if you ride like I do, you go from pavement to off-road, you don't have time to lock your, your front fork out, so I just leave it to the softest setting all the time. Oh, it's nice out here. Here's a power alliance. They just built this area to add more power to the to this neighborhood, which is greatly appreciated. These are high tension wires. I can hear the buzzing. You should be really careful. All right, good. Yeah, I'm just doing a quick ride around just uh, assessing how the levees are. This is pretty much my levee riding, winter riding, fall riding that I'm going to do. Uh, works out my legs, that's for sure, because I'm pedaling more and uh, get a little bit more bump, so you have to kind of balance and maneuver yourself better. I'm going to probably go on this gravel trail right here. Uh, let me see if I can find a safe area to do this. I'm going to pedal assist. I'm going to be on my lowest gear. I'm going to be going into this ditch and I'm not sure what the conditions of the of the ditch is. Okay, it looks passable. Do some gravel riding. All right. Ooh. All right. Did some gravel riding. lower pedal assist and uh, go to gear three. Whew. There's this road that leads to, to that power station that you just saw. This is the gravel road for it. Just making a quick run. I don't want to go too fast. It's gravel. And it is, it is pretty windy out here. I feel my bike being pushed around. That's the only thing you gotta be careful of where I live is not so much, you know, snow or rain. I don't really ride my bike in the rain, but the wind, you know, you don't see the wind and it's invisible and it could push you to the curb or it could push you to a railing. But you know, now that I think about it, I think that's what happened when I broke my hand when I was crossing that overpass. As I was riding through, a gust of wind blew me railing because I feel like my bike just turned for some reason on its own and I can feel it on windy days I feel my bike just you know moving around just want to ride on the gravel a little bit maybe I'll go all the way over to uh, Sonic let's see here 
gravel, or get off the gravel trail and get back onto the uh, levee system here. Just gearing up for it. Uh, here we go. Back onto the levee. Oh, just like that. Oh, nice to have pedals. It really is. It's gated here. Did they have it, did they have it open? Looks like they have it open. They never, they never close these gates. If they close these gates, it would be a pain in the, uh, pain in the ass to uh, get around it. But the water level is pretty low, which is good. At least I'll try to show you here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Water level is pretty low here, so flooding is not a concern, which is good. Water level is high, I know there's a risk of flooding. They got it fenced, they got the levee fenced all the way, but they leave the gate open here mainly for the uh, maintenance. Cut the grass right here. I guess people can't see it. Not a lot of people come out here anyway. Only people with electric bikes would come out here. I don't see too many people motor cycling. It's not allowed. So. Stick it down here. Stick around on the lower level of the levee system. Sometimes I see some people fishing out here. But pretty much in the winter, this is what I like to do come out here to the levee systems and uh, pretty much nobody comes out here on Google Maps over there to the, to the left it's uh, it says it's a park but uh, when I go there I don't see anything this is an overpass to pass it let's take a look right oh, now we got some time I got a pedal here uh, pedal 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 Ugh, this is. Ugh. So I end up using more of my leg, leg strength. Looks like it's secure enough. Let's see some cracks there. Looks like it's secure enough to cross. So supposedly this area out here is a is a park. <laughs> That's what it says on Google Maps. But it looks like a an area for water, another retention, a natural retention pond out here. There's really nothing out here. It says it's a park. It's not much of a park, if you ask me. So i got to be careful and turn around. I'm just using the cramp buster right now. So yeah, I'm, I'm moto e-biking, everybody. Moto e-biking. How deep is this right here? I was thinking about going down it, but nope. Changing my mind. Not going down that. Just turn around and make my way back. The last thing I want to do is fall forward over my handlebars. I've already done that a couple times. And, uh, well, actually once, I think. Maybe, I don't know, maybe twice? I'm pretty sure once. Don't feel like doing that again, really. Just taking it easy. All right. Whew. I'm gonna have to lower my gear to get up this uh, incline here. Pump up the pedal assist. Just throttle my way over there. Start pedaling. All right, start pedaling. This shouldn't be too hard. I'm just gonna sit on the on the saddle. Just lean a little forward. I should be able to make it. Yep. That was nice. That's the main uh, state highway over there. And here's Sonic. Let's 
Sonic. Probably they're gonna, they're most likely gonna make this area a shopping area. I should ride it before they do that. Enjoy the, enjoy the uh, undeveloped areas. Watch out car. Go ahead. Let the cars go first because uh, they'll run you over. This guy's a Raiders Golden State fan. Must be from California. California. All right. Now I'm gonna go. I think I'm okay. All right, I'm just gonna take the road. All right. All right. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Consider joining membership. I might start doing giveaways, get enough members. some rattling. I gotta check the bike after that. When I go off-roading, there's a lot of vibration going on, so I always gotta... I should probably check. That was a little test run. There's a school on to the left side. That's where my youngest goes to elementary school. So... I should probably tune this bike, clean the chain, uh, check the brakes, torque down all the nuts and bolts. I hear things clinking. It's not a really good sign. You don't want clinking noises. There's a sheriff. Always good to see the sheriff. That guy thought I was waving at him. I'm just making my left hand signal. I got a green light. Can I make the green light? No, I can't make the green light. No, I'm probably not gonna make that. This yellow light's a red light. It's a red light now. Now it's a flashing, flashing yellow, but I'm not gonna make it, so. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go. Your car is turning left. All right. All right, everyone, that's the end of the video. That was just a short ride. I wanna get a short ride in, test the uh, levy system before I really start going out there and spending sometimes two to three hours because I stop frequently look at the birds, bring my binoculars, stop by the clubhouse, have hot chocolate, spend a couple hours there, or at least an hour there, warm up a little bit, use the bathroom, and then from there I take the road right back home. All right, bye everybody, see y'all later.